Let's take a moment and check out the HD radio tuner on Pioneer's AVHX 5800 BHS. So to get to the uh, HD radio source, there's a couple of different ways to do that. We can touch the home button here, and here's the HD radio source in our shortcuts, or we can open the AV uh, source screen and choose HD radio. We could also touch our drop-down list, and we can scroll along here till we find HD radio right at the top, and switch there. So there's a lot of information on the HD radio screen that's happening right now. Uh, this is my radio station presets uh, across the side here, and I can open the window to see more information about my HD radio or my radio presets. I can close that window. If the radio station is broadcasting the information, we also get album art on the screen or some other information. And we have this I or information button lit up over here. If we touch this, we change what we see in the screen. So this is the current broadcast, HD1. If we touch the information button, we can see that we also have an HD2 station available here. And we can see we're on 102.5, that is uh, HD number one. To tune in another radio station, we have a number of different ways we can do that. Uh, the first thing is we can touch one of the arrow keys right here, and that tuned from HD1 to HD number 2. And if I uh, touch the arrow up again, we'll tune to the next available frequency, which is 102.7. I can also press and hold this button for a moment, and we can seek to the next available radio station. I can tune in my radio station presets by touching the arrow keys here, you can see we switched from 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. I can also just touch my radio station presets here. And now we'll create a radio station preset. So let's tune in a radio station. We'll press and hold this button for a moment here. We tuned in 100.7. I can see that this is also an HD radio station and it has three HD broadcasts. Uh, we're going to press and hold button number four for a moment. And that creates uh, 100.7 HD number one as radio station preset number four. We can open the window to view that. We'll give that a close. If I touch right here in the screen, touch the HD radio broadcast, I switch between HD radio 1 and HD 2. Touch again, I switch to HD 3. Touch it one more time, and I switch back to HD 1. I can do that with my arrow keys as well. Touch up, I'm on HD 1 right now, touch the arrow up, and I can tune to HD 2. Touch it again, I can tune to HD 3. And if I tune back down, I go to HD2 or HD number one where it sort of resets. If I tune out of the frequency 100.7, we'll go up out of that now. Since there's three HD radio broadcasts here, if I go up above that, I switch to the next, next available frequency, which is 100.9. Now if I go back to 100.7, I'll go all the way back down to the HD, HD1 broadcast. I have 18 FM radio stations to choose from here. Um, on uh, FM band number one, that gives me six radio station presets. If I touch the FM button here, that switches to FM2, and that gives me six more radio station presets. Touch FM again, and I switch to FM3 for six more radio station presets. Touch it one more time, and I come back around to FM number one in my original six radio station presets. If I touch AM, I switch over to the AM band, and I get six radio station presets on AM. We'll switch back to FM uh, here. In fact, we'll go to FM number two, and we'll open the radio station preset window, and I see a button right here called BSM, or Best Stations Memory. If I touch that, the tuner will automatically scan through the entire FM spectrum and lock in the six strongest radio stations that you're receiving right now. This is great for a road trip. When the radio stations become weak, you can touch the BSM button to find good radio stations to listen to, strong radio stations to listen to again. So let's close up this window, and we'll take a look at some of the HD radio settings. Uh, we'll touch the gears here, and we're going to go to the toolbox, and then look at our AV source settings. Under AV source settings, we'll look at radio settings. The first thing we see here is blending. We can switch blending on or off. We'll leave it on for right now, and what this means is, 
If we're in an area where the digital broadcast, the HD broadcast, becomes weak, the system will automatically switch to the analog broadcast and blend in the analog broadcast. When the HD signal becomes strong again, it will automatically switch back to the HD signal. Occasionally you can hear this in the weak HD area when it sounds like the radio is skipping. If you want to stop that, you can switch the blending off. The seek mode here is next. We, right now we're seeking all radio stations, or we can switch that to seek, seek only HD radio stations. We'll switch that back right now to seek all, which is both HD and analog signals. And then we have our local setting, which is right now is switched off. We'll open that window, and you can see that we have four different levels of the, uh, of the local setting. And what this is is a filter to filter out weak radio stations. So, for example, if I, uh, let me hit the X here. We'll choose level two and hit the X. Right now I have uh, local on to level number two. Now if I press and hold this arrow key for a couple of seconds, the radio will seek to the next available radio station, but will only stop on stronger radio stations. It will filter out the weaker radio stations. If we go back to that setting, I have local level number one, two, three, or four. Off completely switches local off. Uh, level number one will filter out some of the radio stations, but you'll still get relatively weaker stations. Level number four will allow you to only tune in the very strongest radio stations that are available. When you're done making those settings, you can just hit the X to escape.